In this problem, we're told in order to keep a leaking ship from sinking, it is necessary to pump 12 pounds of water each second from below deck up to a height of 2 meters and over the side. What is the minimum horsepower motor that can be used to save the ship? So what we're trying to do in this problem is solve for horsepower. And so basically what we're going to do first is just use power and then we're going to get power in watts and convert it into horsepower. But first we need to find what the power is. So there's a formula for power, which is work over time. And so what we're going to do is find the work and then divide it by the time and then we're going to be able to solve. So keep in mind what they tell us. They tell us it's going to be 12 pounds of water each second. So we're going to say the time is just one because we're doing it each second is what we're going to need to do. And then we're going to find out how much work we do each second and that's going to give us the power. So the way we're going to find the work is we know that work is equal to the change in energy. In this case, we're moving it straight upwards. So it's going to be this change in the potential energy. So it's going to be the change in the potential energy because uh, we're just going straight up. So potential energy is just MGH. And keep in mind, we're going to be starting at zero, right? We start here and then we move it up here. So if MGH, so we're doing the change in it. So MGH final minus MGH initial. The initial is just going to be zero because it starts here. So this would be zero, right? The H would be zero, meaning this whole side cancels. So really the work is just going to be equal to its mass times uh, gravity times the final height. So uh, the work is going to be equal to its mass. So in this case, they give us the mass is 12 pounds. But when we do this, we need to make sure it's in kilograms. So basically 12 pounds is equal to 5.44. Let me rewrite it up here. Mass equals 5.44, and then it's going to be kg. So this is just 12 pounds in kilograms. And so now what we can do is just plug it in. So the work is going to be equal to the mass, which is 5.44. Multiply it by g, which is just the acceleration due to gravity, which is 9.8, times the final height. And so we're going up 2 meters, so h is just going to be 2. So if we're solving for the power, now we can plug in the work. So power equals the work, which is 5.44 times 9.8 times two, and then we're just dividing by one because this is per second. So really in this case, the power is just gonna be equal to this because dividing by one does nothing. So it's gonna be 5.44 times 9.8 times two. And so when you go ahead and do that, you're gonna get it equals, or the P is equal to 106.624. And so this is gonna be in watts. But what you need to do is convert it into horsepower. So the way to convert to horsepower, you need to know the conversion. So you need to know that 746 watts is equal to one horsepower. So if we want to convert, we know one horsepower is equal to 746 watts. So just dividing will cancel out the watts, and then you'll get it in the correct units. So we want it in horsepower, so just divide by 746. So 106.624 divided by 746. You're going to get that it equals, or power is equal to one, or 0.1429, which is about 0.143, and then it's in horsepower. So 0.143 horsepower, that's going to be your answer to this problem.